My name is Sofia Segovia. Uh, my children are also ASFM alumni. Uh, I have three, Sofia, David, Cristina. They're all on their way. Uh, we're very happy, Jose, Sada, my husband and I, uh, to have returned to the school. Well, <laughs> will it be strange if I say that coming to the library and the friends I made, of course, but the, the library, I think it was a very special thing we had when I was growing up in school. Uh, I think I will be a reader even beyond my writing days. Well, there's not just one. I think there's several, of course, and it's the reading and writing, and I don't mean of course, learning to read and write, I mean learning to be a reader for life. I learned it here, of course, also at home. But here, uh, this school was very special in the 70s and the 80s uh, because I think it was the only school that promoted the reading and the writing. I think uh, a sense of the world and my connection to it. Um, I think that's also very important for me to have this view this very broad view of uh, the world and me. Well, uh, I think ASFM prepared me for a life beyond high school, absolutely, because I think my vocation was born here, was born here at the school. Maybe I still didn't put a finger on it, absolutely, absolutely. And, but I, I did know by the time I, I was in high school that I was a writer. But what I appreciated was that I had these two uh, sources of knowledge, the Spanish and the English, that helped me even in writing Spanish. And that's something I still use today. I write and I never let go of my English, never. Every day I write and I, I write in Spanish, but sometimes I think in English. So uh, I think all around, it prepared me very well, even today. I, I carry my American school, my eagle self, every day, everywhere I go. Well, it has been, uh, being a novelist is, for me, it has been a great adventure. Of course, I finally found my vocation. It's not only being a, a writer, but being a novelist is what really, really makes me happy. And uh, it's uh, creating stories out of nothing maybe and uh, that makes me very happy and then being published and being uh, having the, the luck to be uh, read so I've my world has uh, broadened has grown I know people all around the world I talk to people all, all around the world and that's a big adventure for me You know what uh, inspired me to write El Murmullo de las Abejas? The first thing was this uh, sense that uh, Monterrey has amnesia. And I want to awaken the, the memories of Monterrey. Monterrey has no sense of history, no sense of self, no sense of its own uh, identity. But by telling the story of Linares, I was telling Monterrey its own story. Because Monterrey, before, before this story I, I tell in El Murmullo de las Abejas, had a different, uh, traveled through a different road, historical road. After these events that I recount in El Murmullo de las Abejas, Monterrey's history changed. Okay, if you want to be a writer, you have to start reading as a writer, read everything, and also be uh, critical. I mean, uh, don't say everything is bad, no. Start, say, start uh, taking a look at what, at what really works in every novel. What works, what you like, and what you don't. And uh, you have to know that reading is the best teacher for writers. And then I would also say, do not be afraid. Why are writers so afraid? They are. Everybody's afraid to show their words. 
and I would say don't be afraid, write every day, don't let anybody tell you that you are too young to say anything special, anything interesting, write every day, find your own voice, it takes some courage, yes it does, to get published, yes it does, a lot, but I think you can do it, you can do it, you can be a great writer, so start, start every day, do it, I don't care what age you are, you have to practice and practice makes perfect and that's it.